Hello and welcome to a Brawlbox tutorial. This is model swapping. And this is actually a huge topic and I'm not sure if I can fit this into three videos. I mean, one video. Or if I even want to because it's, it's quite a huge topic. Uh, you should get started, I guess. It's going to be a long thing. This will be in the description. And this is uh, very important. You'll need to because Mediafire, you can't link right to the downloads, and there's so many downloads for this tutorial that you'll have to just do it this way. Look, come here, data partition, fighter, and go down. Yours will probably be, uh, this will be set to something else. You might have to navigate through a bunch of pages at the bottom. But you need to get to Zacco Ball, Zacco Boy, Zacco Child, and Zacco Girl. If you have no idea what those are, they are the alloys from Multi-Man Brawl, and I think that's all they appear in. They are very important. For this tutorial, we'll be focusing on Zacco Ball, and this is the one that kind of looks like Kirby. When you get here, download uh, this file, 00.pack and 00.pcs. Uh, in an Upcoming tutorial will focus on this and this, but for right now, that's all you need. Now, for model swapping, there is a golden rule. The golden rule is the amount of bones your character has. That's not really a rule, but that's the golden rule. You'll see what I mean. So now that we've got Zacco Ball right here, we need to figure out what character we're going to be editing. Now, uh, in that uh, web folder, if you navigate around, you can get to item, and when you're in item, these are all the assist trophies, I believe. And from here, you can get any assist trophy you want. I would recommend you get Joe. And if you want, you can just type in search files here, Joe, and get ASF Joe B R R E S dot pack. Download that. That's your Knuckle Joe pack. This is the file we need to open. So once you have that file, find it. You got to go search for it. It's Oh, right. It's in my packs. So basically, Knuckle Joe has something like 49 bones. And I'll show you how to check how many bones something has. So ASF Joe underscore BRRES. Model data. Preview this. You can see Knuckle Joe looks like kind of an angry guy. Open up this one here. It says bones here. Click on this one and start counting down. So you go like, you don't count all, you just count top end. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that was like 37 or something. Anyway. The point is, he has enough bones to be larger than Zacco Ball. You might be wondering, why do we have to use alloys? Why can't I just put it on top of a character? No one really knows why it doesn't work when you put it on top of a character. It just doesn't. The only ones that work are the alloys for some reason. So you have to do it that way. So now that we know that he has more bones than an alloy, and some characters, some things don't. I mean, uh, uh, Little Mac, I believe, has 29 bones. Not enough to replace anything. And uh, we'll find ways how to get him in. And I'll make tutorials on that as they come up. But for right now, can't do anything with him. So, let's clear up my desktop for a second. Right click on this, export his model data. Export this to somewhere where you remember. And with model data, we need texture data. Just export this whole file. 
Save. Now you have two files down here. We're done with this file now. What files we need now is the zacobal 00pack and PCS. So I would suggest um, zacobal 00pack. For this, I would suggest opening up two instances of Rawbox. In your second one, open up the PCS. We opened up the pack in the other one. There's zacobal 00pcs and put them so that you can access them. Model data, open this up. If you don't know what an alloy is, this is the alloy. And you can check how many bones he has if you want, but it's less than Knuckle Joe, so we're set. Right click on that, replace. Go to your Knuckle Joe uh, model. Now go to your pack file, do the exact same thing. If you're wondering what the difference between the pack and PCS is, it's really just um, the PCS is reliant on the pack and the pack is reliant on the PCS. If you don't change both, none of them work. So you gotta do both. Now that we replace both the models, we have to replace both the textures. Right click on the whole texture data thing, replace it with the whole texture data for little, uh, Joe. Replace the one in the pack as well. Now when we go to preview, it will be Joe. Uh, right click, save as, save it as something cool like Joe, and make sure, be careful, this is the pack one, Brawlbox automatically saves as a dot pack. So just make sure that when you do the PCS, you don't do that. I already have one, whatever. On this one, this is the one you gotta be careful with. Right click and file save as. Quick, quick, make sure this is dot PCS. And put Joe. Yes. Now that we have those two files, we are good to go. Now we have to put them in our SD card. Open up your SD card, go to PF, Fighter. Now you'll have to go and make these folders if you don't have them. I would suggest just going ahead and making a folder called Zacko Ball, no spaces, Zacko Girl, Zacko Boy, and Zacko Child. I don't have the child one, but I'll get it when I need it. Open up your Zacko Ball, yours should be empty, as mine is. Take your new found packs, fit Zacko Ball OO pack and PCS dot Joe. Delete the Joe part. I might be thinking, oh wow, that wasn't as hard as I thought, but it took me a long time to get this tutorial together. It's actually quite a large trial and error thing. You really gotta do a lot of times counting the bones for every possible thing you wanna add. Also, if you noticed, uh, Joe is kind of, kind of a Kirby shape, kind of big head, little arms and stuff like that. Finding a alloy that looks like him isn't necessary, but very handy when it comes to animating. And that's what I'll do in an upcoming tutorial as well. So now this is in our game, however, we're not able to choose him from our custom character selection screen yet. I'll be making that code for an upcoming tutorial too. And I hope you tune in for those, but please uh, watch this tutorial a lot of times. And if, oh right, I guess I should tell you, to actually see this in battle, go to solo. It, when you're playing Brawl, there's like a uh, group or solo, choose solo, stadium, multi-man Brawl, and then choose a hundred man Brawl, just to make sure that you can see him. And he'll pop out. And I'll show that on a demonstration video. Check for that in the description. And I hope you learned some things. If I could just do a brief review, because this is really a big topic. Um, uh, read the description. All I gotta say. Thanks for watching.